Ideally, when you initially import your data, you confirm that there are no duplicate records. However, sometimes this can slip through the cracks, or even once your organisation has been using CRM for a while, it is not uncommon for duplicate records to be created. To reduce the likelihood of this occurring, you can add in duplicate detection rules. To view or create a duplicate detection rule, you first need to open the advanced settings area. And then click data management section. And then there is an option to view the duplicate detection rules. Here you'll find the full list of rules. And looking at this top one, I have a rule which picks up any accounts that have the same account name. And we know this is being enforced as the status reason is published. When I open up that rule, we're going to be able to see the criteria which is used to work out if a record is a duplicate. And in this example, the name is quite good as we are quite literally looking for any accounts that have an exact match of the account name. Duplicate rules could also have multiple criteria within the same query. And an example might be this rule down here where we're looking at contacts with the same first name and the same last name as well. So when I open up this one, you'll be able to see in the criteria that for a duplicate to be detected in this situation, both of these criteria have to be met. So if the first name's the same, it's not gonna throw up a fuss and, and say that you have a duplicate, it's only if it's the first and last name. So there are some default duplicate rules that come with CRM, but creating a new one is quite simple. Pressing the new button in the top left corner, and once you fill in, fill in the name, You then need to select the entity that you're looking for. So I might be looking for accounts. And then you select the field that you're after. So I might say if it's the same, if they have the same email address on an account level, and you can then specify whether it's an exact match, whether it's got the same first number of characters or the same last characters. Uh, again, probably in most situations, you're going to be looking for an exact match. Um, however, there may be some circumstances where you're looking for the same first five characters or whatever it might be. Maybe an example might be an ABN or if they have like a company number uh, where the extension might be a bit different. But we're going to say exact match here. And then what you can do once you've saved that, you, you'll then see that the option to publish that becomes available. And once you publish, it will take a, a, a short amount of time and then it'll be enforcing that duplicate rule. Now, if I go back to CRM, we know that we have an account called Adam's Accountants. So if I was to try and create a new account, and save that, you'll see it's gonna bring up a box for me, which says that there is an existing record which matches the rule that we viewed before where the, the account name is an exact match. From here, you could ignore and save the record regardless, implying that this is an exception to the duplicate rule. Or we could merge the data of my newly created record to the existing in case there are new details I have captured that are missing on the existing record. If neither of those options suit, you can also cancel and then just not save the record at all. So work through and, and just determine what the best option might be. In this case, I know I've barely filled any details in, uh, only just the account name, whereas I can see in my duplicate record, it's got quite a bit of detail filled in. So I might just cancel as it's not going to provide any additional value there. 